Much of the ministry of Jesus was here around the beautiful Sea of Galilee. A lot of his miracles were performed here. One of the miracles that happened was when he crossed over to the other side was the casting out of the evil spirits out of the man at Gadara. Let's read about it from Mark chapter 4, beginning at verse 35. On the same day when evening had come, he said to them, Let us cross over to the other side. Now when he had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was, and other little boats were also with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that it was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, Who can this be, that even the wind and the sea obey him? So they crossed over to the other side, and at Gadara they met the man who was living among the tombs. He couldn't live at home because evil spirits possessed him. When Jesus cast out the evil spirits, they asked if they could go into the pigs that were grazing on the hillside. Jesus allowed them to go into the pigs. They ran down over the hill and committed suicide rather than live with the devil. After that, this man was clothed and in his right mind. He wanted to go with Jesus on the preaching tour, but Jesus said, go back home and tell them what great things God has done for you. Let's read it as we continue. In Mark chapter 5, verse 15. Then they came to Jesus and saw the one who had been demon-possessed and had the legion, sitting and clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. And those who saw it told them how it happened to him, who had been demon-possessed, and about the swine. Then they began to plead with him to depart from their re region. When he got into the boat, he who had been demon-possessed begged him that he might be with him. However, Jesus did not permit him, but said to him, Go home to your friends and tell them what great things the Lord has done for you and how he has had compassion on you. And he departed and began to proclaim in Decapolis all that Jesus had done for him, and all marveled. And now, here is Ari Bar David to tell us about this great miracle that Jesus performed by casting the evil spirits out of the demoniac. So, Jesus was busy all the day long. On the same day, according to Matthew, we read that he shared the Sermon on the Mountain. On the same day, he was dealing with the mother-in-law of Peter. She had fever. On the same day, he healed the centurion servant. And look what happens at the end of this day. Suddenly, he tells the people, bring me a boat. According to Matthew, there were two people coming to him, and one said to him, where are you going? Let me go with you. And Jesus told him, the fox has place to put their head. Even the birds have nest. Son of man has no place. So what is the feeling here? That when Jesus said, give me a boat, it was as if he wants to rest, right? He wants to put his head somewhere, to be a little bit alone. And actually what we have read in Mark, that he carried with him a pillow. And then when he was under the stern, he was sleeping, putting his head on the pillow. You know, this is the only time that the word pillow appears in the Old Testament. Only in this special story. What it means that this word is very meaningful. And I don't know how many times you ask yourself, what was this pillow? You know, I'm a tour guide. 
And I know that there are some tourists that they bring with them a kind of a pillow for their head. And everywhere we go, they go with this little pillow. What to do? <laughs> Maybe they never started to get rid of this little pillow that they had when they were children. So I asked myself, Jesus was this kind of person walking all the time with a pillow? Definitely not. This was a very special occasion, first time that he had a pillow. So what was this pillow? And look, when we will find what was this pillow, then you will admire your Lord 10 times more. Look, it's written that this demonic man possessed by demons was crying day and night. So for months, Jesus could hear him and hear him and hear him. So many times Jesus went in the evenings to find a place alone in the ruins. And many times it was total dark or early in the morning just to pray to the Father. And imagine that in his prayer, suddenly the crying and shouting of this demonic comes to his earrings. And he wanted to heal him. But the Father said, no, it's not a time. It's not a time. So now, as he was surrounded by all this crowd, suddenly, he felt, this is the time to heal him. Bring me a boat. But Jesus knew something else, that this man has no clothes, because again, it's written that he was naked walking in the tomb. So look what a savior we have. He went to his home, which was annexed to the place. I mean, it was like 30 yards from there, that's all. And what he prepared? Clothes to the demon and he wrapped them and he made it to be like a pillow. And then when he was in the boat, he was putting his head on the pillow, on the cloth of that man. The first thing that the Lord did to this man after he cast the demons out of him, he gave him a new cloth, a new dressing. Look what a Lord we have. This is actually what he's doing with every one of us. Satan is naked us. Satan took our robe away. The Lord is bringing us back the robes. He wants us to be covered. He gives us a robe of righteousness. Praise the Lord for this. Praise the Lord for this.